Hi there guys, welcome back to Together Electronics, this is episode number 12. Now suppose you build this fabulous little project, the Arduino. And suppose it does all sorts of stuff like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data logging, and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. And you want to show it off. So you go to your friends and say, Hey dude, I made this project. And they'll be easily impressed and they say, Wow, you rock. However, if you want to take it a step further, like to make it a little more permanent, to enhance your living experience. Well, that's exactly what I'll be showing in this video. To convert your Arduino project into a standalone one without using your Arduino. So, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. First step is choosing the microcontroller. Most Arduinos, including this one, have a Mega 328 chip built into them. However, if you want to convert it into a standalone project, you get a variety of options. You can feel free to use any of the Arduino compatible microcontrollers and use it with your project. There are quite a few examples like Mega 8, 168, then you have 2560, and quite other microcontrollers. For this video, we'll be using the Mega 8. There are a few reasons why I would like to use it. First, is that it's low cost, it's not very expensive, and it's versatile. And second, is it is exactly pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the Mega T28 chip found in most of these boards. So it will make designing a hell lot easier. So once you've chosen the appropriate microcontroller, then you have to connect it with the Arduino, as shown in the figure here. So, let's build up the circuit and let's have a shot. Okay, here I have the Arduino connected to the microcontroller as per the circuit diagram I showed you earlier. So let's connect it to the computer, flash it up and see if it works. Let's go. Okay, once you've connected the Arduino to the computer, then you, what you need to do is burn a sketch called Arduino ISP. It's in the examples tab provided with the Arduino. So the next thing you have to do is burn the sketch to the Arduino Uno or whatever Arduino you have. So you go to tools and select the appropriate board type. Then also confirm your serial port and make sure that a programmer is set as Arduino as ISP. Once you're done, click on upload and it should upload the board and basically make it a programmer. So once you have uploaded the sketch, the next thing you have to do is burn the bootloader. Next you go to tools and under board type you select the appropriate microcontroller. In this case, since we are using the Me Mega 8, we'll be selecting this option. If you're using something like 328, you should go ahead and use this, and so on and so forth. Then double check your connections, and once you're done, click on burn bootloader. Once it's finished burning, it should give you indication. So now your Mega chip is basically an Arduino. So you can upload any sketch which works on the Arduino to your Mega chip and it will perform the same way as the Arduino does. So the next thing you do, uh, let's try it with the example. We go to examples tab and select say a uh, servo testing sketch. Okay, we'll be uploading this to the board. But make sure that the board is selected to the appropriate um, microcontroller you'll be using. And then the next thing you do is go to file and click on upload using programmer. Once it's finished uploading, the program should work as usual. So let's try it out. Okay, here I have a servo motor connected directly to the circuit as per as our sketch. And now one thing you'll notice is that I have completely disconnected the Arduino from our circuit. So now it has no interference whatsoever with the circuit. And our circuit is now completely standalone just as we had intended. So now let's switch it on and see if it works. And it does. It works a treat, so no worries whatsoever. Our sketch is running exactly as we had intended. So now you can go ahead and replace this with any example program of your choice. And and it should work like it does in the Arduino. Okay, so that was pretty neat stuff. So now you can happily build up on your Arduino projects collection without having to devote your entire Arduino board for each and every project. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, 
Catch you next time.